Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 3, understanding quadrilaterals, exercise 3.3, 7 sum onwards. See now question number 7. The adjacent figure hope is a parallelogram. Find the angle measures x, y and z. State the properties used to find them. Let us see the solution. Observe this parallelogram hope H O P E. Here angle Y is equal to 40 degrees. Why? Because alternate interior angles are equal. Next angle P is equal to 70 degrees. Why? Because here also these are alternate interior angles. So both are equal. So we got here angle P equals to 70 degrees. So we got here angle P equals to 70 degrees. Next, angle P is equal to angle H. Why? Because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So, angle P equals to angle H that equals to P is 70 degrees. So, H is also 70 degrees. Next, observe here Z plus 40 degrees is H. Now, we need to find Z. Why? Because we know H that is 70 degrees and we know 40 degrees. So, what we have done here? Z equals to angle H minus 40 degrees. That equals to angle H is 70 degrees minus 40. So, 70 minus 40 that is 30 degrees. Here we got angle Y equals to 40 degrees and angle Z equals to 30 degrees. Now, let us find angle X. See now angle H plus angle X is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because sum of adjacent angles of a parallelogram is equal to 180 degrees. We got angle H that is 70 degrees plus we doesn't know angle X that equals to 180 degrees. Now let us find angle X that equals to 180 degrees plus 70 on transposing it is minus 70. So 180 minus 70 it is 110 degrees. Therefore angle X is equal to 110 degrees. Previous we got angle Y equals to 40 degrees and Angle Z equals to 30 degrees. See now question number 8. The following figures, guns and runs are parallelograms. Find X and Y. Here lengths are given in centimeters. Observe this first sum. Guns parallelogram G U N S. Here S G is equal to N U and S N is equal to G U. Why? Because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So let us take the first one SG equals to NU. SG is given as 3X that equals to NU is given as 18 centimeters, so 18. So we got here 3X equals to 18. Now X equals to 18 by 3. Here 3 is going to multiply on transposing it is divided by. So 3 table 3 ones are 3. 3 6 are 18. So, x value is 6. Therefore, x equal to 6. Now, let us take second one. Sn equals to Zu. That is, Sn they have given as 26 cm. That equals to Zu is given as 3y minus 1. Here, minus 1 on transposing, it is plus 1. So, 26 plus 1 equals to 3y. That implies 3y equals to 26 plus 1. That is 27. That implies y equals to 27 divided by 3. Here 3 is going to multiply. On transposing it is divided by. Now 3 table 3 ones are 3. 3 nines are 27. Therefore y value is 9. So in our equation they ask us to write x value and y value. So x value is 6 here and y value is 9. See now 8 question second sum they have given parallelogram runs R U N S. Here they have given values in this way 20 and here y plus 7 and here 16 and this is x plus y. From this figure we can say 20 is equal to y plus 7 and 16 equals to x plus y. Why? Because diagonals of this parallelogram bisect each other. These both values were equal. So let us take this first part y plus 7 equals to 20. That implies y equals to 20 plus 7 on transposing it is minus 7. So, 20 minus 7, it is 13. Therefore, y value is equal to 13. See now, second one, x plus y equals to 16. Next, x plus, we know y value 13, that equals to 16. 
that implies x equal to 16 plus 13 on transposing it is minus 13. So 16 minus 13 it is 3. Therefore x equals to 3. So finally we got here x value as 3 and y value as 13. See now question number 9. In the above figure we are having two parallelograms that is RISK risk and second parallelogram is CLUE that is clue. Now from these two parallelograms we need to find the value of x. Now let us see the solution. Angle K plus angle R equals to 180 degrees. Why? Because sum of adjacent angles of a parallelogram is 180 degrees. Here already they have given in this first parallelogram that is risk RISK here angle K equals to 120 degrees. Let us substitute angle K equals to 120 degrees plus angle R that equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle R equals to 180 degrees plus 120 on transposing it is minus 120 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 120 degrees that equals to 60 degrees. Also angle R is equal to angle S I L. Why? Because those are corresponding angles. So angle R and angle S I L both are equal. So if angle R is 60 degrees then angle S I L is also 60 degrees. So we have written here angle S I L equals to 60 degrees. Now we have to find the value of X. So previously we got angle S I L that is 60 degrees. S I L that is nothing but angle I that is 60 degrees. Also from this figure we can observe that angle E, C, R and angle L both are equal. So angle L is 70 degrees then angle E, C, R will be 70 degrees. Angle E, C, R nothing but angle C that is 70 degrees. So we got here angle I that is 60 degrees and angle C we got 70 degrees. Observe here this angle is X. Here unknown angle so vertically opposite angles are equal so we shall take this angle as X. Now what we have taken is sum of the angles of a triangle will be 180 degrees that is angle sum property of a triangle. So we have taken here X plus 60 plus 70 equals to 180 degrees. That implies x plus 60 plus 70 that is 130 degrees that equals to 180. That implies x equals to 180 degrees plus 130 on transposing it is minus 130 that equals to 180 minus 130 it is 50 degrees. Therefore x value is 50 degrees. Today we have seen class 8 exercise 3.3 7, 8, 9 sums. In the next video, we shall see remaining 3 sums of this exercise. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.